All right, chat, what is up? You have seen wheels and lasers. You have seen wheels and lasers and scarabs. Now behold, the buggy council brings you buggy and laser. We're gonna try no halving. We're gonna try no halving. We're gonna see. We're gonna see if it works out. Establishing battlefield <laughs> control. Yo, Q money, thank you for the five subs, bro. Welcome to Transistor Man, Bavesh, Avishai, Sadhu, and Iraqi Zoro. Oh no, I was gonna go no half. No, I got distracted by Q money. It's alright, I'll forgive you, Q money. <laughs> I'll take the five subs in exchange for this game thrown. <laughs> alright, maybe we can still win. Maybe we'll actually find out that halving was a good idea anyway. And we'll be happy this happened. Maybe Q Money's actually saved me. I mean, I've got to be honest, without a harvester, right? Well, I guess without a harvester, I'd have 60 more tiers. It does kind of like, I think buggies might be too expensive to play no hard. But yeah, we will see. We will see. This whole like, wait, he's going for my harvester instead of my buggy? Oh my god. People are so bad at this game. People are literally so bad at this game. Well, now you want to kill the buggy. Too late, man. You could, you could have killed it earlier. You had your chance. Alright, more buggy. Oh my god, Q Money. What the hell? There's a lot of biddies, man. Holy smokes. <laughs> is that going to be... Six, is that going to be 6,900? Six, 6, <laughs> Dude, one half is too many halves. Look how much money I have. I could start making these tech units if it was allowed. Yeah, okay, one half is too many harvesters. We'll try zero harvesters next. See if that's the right number of harvesters. We're gonna get a harvester kill as well. I'm gonna be literally swimming in Tiberium. I'm gonna have more Tiberium than Midas, who was famous for turning everything he touched into Tiberium. Don't, don't Google Midas chat. Just take my word for it. Alright, Max Tenko. I'm gonna get your half, man. I'm gonna get it. No, how dare you, Obelisk? How very dare you, sir. Outrageous. Absolutely outrageous. I could boost this to get it on the pad. Uh oh, we're gonna get on the pad chat. Uh oh. Oh, and there's still an obelisk there. Yeah, I forgot about the obelisk. That's a problem. That's a problem. This is, yeah, this obelisk is actually a pretty massive issue. Should I, I should get off the other pad. No, it's too late now. I should have got off the other pad and got it to like 95% and then juke back on. Alright, we got him, boys. We got him. Easy clowns. Obelisk does not last forever. 250 tier. Probably could, uh, probably could go zero half. But we will see. Okay, this time we're gonna no harvest it. This time we're gonna. I almost went harvester again, but I stopped myself. I think with the wheels, I would normally make a wheel and a laser early. I have like a little bit of both. So I'm gonna try that with this. I feel like this might be a bit too expensive to do it this, this way around. But having those like multiple rolls early is pretty good. Alright, we can have some buggy v buggy action. I'm okay with that. What are the odds he doesn't make bikes next? Like 0%? Yep, there they are. That's okay though, I got lasers. I've got lasers for days, son. He's sending the bikes to fight my lasers. I don't know if Snafu has really considered his options here. I think, in fact, I would consider what he just did there to be a bit of a Snafu. Just a little bit. A little cheeky, little cheeky Snafu there. All right, let's get out of the way here. I mean, this guy's just getting giga tricked. Like, this could not be going much worse for him. Who needs a harvester, man? We just got lasers for days. Laser troop really is the like last bastion of insanely efficient cheap units. I guess militant and laser and rifle are right, still pretty. Still pretty cheap and efficient. We are starting to fall behind though. The buggy spam is overtaking our lasers. We could make our own buggies, but I don't know if that's better. Maybe like to tank we make a buggy. 
Turn lasers to do the deeps. Kind of all, this is a lot of buggies, man. This might be this might be too many buggies. Although he did shoot my buggy that whole time and let my laser kill his other buggy. So maybe we're gonna be fine. Yeah, this guy doesn't know about their old retargeting strategy. Oh snapple. Oh snapple. Feels bad, man. You are victorious. Almost went harvester again. Oh my god, cat. Gotta get out of that habit. Now, how much power do we think power has? I'm gonna go second buggy, although a lot of people just immediately text which when they see buggy, so second buggy might be a mistake. Oh, nice, he did actually go laser. That's really good for me. We definitely want a 2v1 because we're low on resources. We don't want to ever make like even trades, we want to dominate in our trades. Like, for example, here we just lost a buggy for a laser troop and a squad, which is not actually great. Uh oh, I've messed up, boys. And I'm almost out of money. Uh, too many buggies have been made. Yeah, we need to make laser. We need to make laser to tank. Buggy confirmed not as good as wheels, perhaps? I'm actually going to chill for now. If he doesn't block me out. Right, oh, he's going to block me out tonight. Oh, here we go. He's let me on. That's weird. No, 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 no. Stay on, stay on, stay on. Ooh, it's close. I'm actually completely broke now. This is very awkward. His units are more efficient than mine because he's using laser rifle. Let's see if this guy knows about retargeting. Oh, he doesn't. Nice. Oh, dude, come on. I can't afford to fight one of those. All right, we have to. We literally just have to chill. Like, we can't. We can't push into that. We can't take the damage. And we need a buggy to ward off these. Uh, ward off these rifles. This is way harder than wheels and lasers. Way harder. It's a lot worse than wheels and lasers. Buggy is just not a unit you can afford to make on no harvester on the regs. I need to send lasers down to check if the obelisk is still there. I think it's expired, but. An obelisk that takes no damage lasts a pretty long time. Alright, looks like he's gone. Alright, nice. I think we got him. Wow, he went second half. Does this feel like an appropriate time to go second harvester? Like, for anyone else? Does that feel like an appropriate time to be making your second harvester? I think so many people in Rivals just don't understand this mechanic of the nuclear missile. Like, so many people I play against just don't seem to understand this mechanic. They have to control the map or the game will end. I feel like they, the game, like, the, the second missile has their base, defeat screen comes up, and they're just sitting there looking at their phone, being like, I don't understand what's happened. Why am I dead? Okay, unfortunately, we do have uh, an opponent who has played Rivals before this time. So we are in a lot of- we're, we're, this, this one's gonna be pretty hard, I think. I believe this guy actually has, you know, like, played- played Command and Conquer Rivals more than once. And since we are doing this wonky wheel- wheel- buggy and laser thing... Yeah, look at him, he's actually, like, retreating from my unit. It's pretty OP. Just gonna get the little swapsies going on. Alright, I'll just shoot this laser then. Alright, so we should get first missile pretty easily. Yeah, I hit from the bike though, this is gonna make things worse. Can't, we just can't afford to make the, normal, the trades I would normally make, like having both my buggies fight his bikes for a value, just can't do that because there's no value now. Like it's a good tempo play when you have infinite money, or like one half money I should say. Oh Chuggy, that is, uh, that, that's uh, that's always been an incredibly difficult unit for these these uh, no half decks to beat. The reason Chuggy is so hard for no half to beat is because it's overpowered. Like I, that's just, I firmly believe that. It's hard for no half to beat because like you just have to spend dramatically more than it costs to kill it because the unit is OP. Also, we have no 10 cost units, so Scarabs are actually good against us. <laughs> How is this real life? We're playing no half and Scarabs are good against us. Scarabs are in fact very good against us. Because we have to walk 
we have to spend a lot on, on fighting scarabs. Like we literally, and we have no money because we're no hard. Yeah, I don't think we can, we can't, we actually don't have a way to beat Scarabs, like Scarabs is GG. We're playing no hard and Scarabs is GG, what an absolute beating. I guess we have to make a halve, we don't really have time to make a halve anymore, I think we're just, we're just dead. We're just dead. There's actually zero outs to Scarabs in my deck, that is, uh, that is kind of insane. What an unrealistic situation to find myself in. I think two buggies at once skills Scarab. That's not that's not good enough though. <laughs> I can't trade 30 for 40 when I'm no harm. That's just not that's not an acceptable not an acceptable trade to make. Like I don't have I don't have spare money, I can't make that trade. Come on. Oh bro, so close. Yeah, I mean, there was no way we could ever win that game. That was fully on. Like, I like, literally don't have a 10 cost unit, so Scarabs are actually insane versus me. Alright, Matty. Last game. Definitely can't lose the Scarabs this time, which is nice. Jump jets might be a bit of a problem as well, actually, because again, we just don't have any money, so we can't make we can't make like okay trades. We have to make great trades constantly. That's how wheels and lasers works. Like you make really good trades all the time because all your units are super cheap. What's up here? I can't remember. I think it's right the one over there, right? Yeah, like this is this is how you win with this with like these two units weird deck combos because you, you just like hard counter stuff you make good trades constantly the only time you make a bad trade is when you need to hold a pad like up here now here i'm going to make a bad trade but i'm going to try and get the harvester to compensate for it looks like i'm not going to get the half so you can see my money now goes down dramatically i lose like both my buggies and now i have 50 Tiberium to, to buy them back, which is not really enough. But I'm hoping I can finish the Harvester and get back uh, get back the investment. Alright, I think, I think we got them. It looks like we kind of dominated this one. All right, GG. There it is. Let's go. Easy claps. Easy claps apart from the guy who has Scarabs and Ken Bucky. <laughs> no half auto lose to Scarabs. Feels horrible, man. All right, well, there you go, guys. Not quite as good as Wheels and Lasers. I wonder if I should have gone Harvester. Like, I went Harvester the first game and I was swimming in money, but you don't have enough money on no half. It's one of those awkward situations where you have, like, a deck where the costs are too high for zero half and too low for one half so yeah obviously like it's a two unit deck so it's gonna be kind of awkward but yeah reminds me of when we did the like all 30 cost units decks and like all 30 and 40 cost and like the deck was too expensive for a harvester so too too cheap for a harvester but too expensive for no harvester all right hope you guys enjoyed that one see you all next time